Well, hello there, folks. Me again. Today, I'm going to try and make um, beef in oyster sauce with broccoli and a few veggies. Uh, I'm going to do it in the wok outside on my um, wok burner where it gets very, very hot out there. So uh, I can't do it inside, it's too dangerous. So what I'll do now is uh, I'm gonna um, talk you through the ingredients that I'm gonna be using. So uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get into that in just a second. Um, and uh, let's see how we go from there. This is my version of um, oyster sauce with beef and broccoli it's uh, I've taken bits of lots of different recipes and made it into my own personal uh, taste so all these ingredients that I'm going to show you uh, are my preference you can also uh, alter the ingredients to suit your preference I, um, I only uh, put a little bit of um, chili in because my family don't like a lot of hot food. They don't mind it a little bit warm, but if it gets too hot they won't eat it. So I'm better off leaving it out. Uh, I don't mind the flavour of chili, but uh, I'm the same. If it gets too hot for me, it's, it just spoils the, uh, the meal for me, you know. So, um, okay. But like I say, uh, adapt the um, ingredients to your preference there's no problem with that uh, I'm not trying to say this is the right or wrong way to do it it's my way <laughs> and I think when you're making food I think that's the only way to go it's your preference you know if uh, somebody else doesn't like it that's fine um, if somebody else suggests you put something else with it that's fine too please suggest it because I might not have thought about it <laughs> So if you think you can come and better the recipe for me, I'm, I'm happy with that, you know. So leave a comment and let me, um, let me uh, know your views and thoughts about it. So here we go. Um, I'm going to actually um, just walk you quick through the recipe and um, on marinating the beef first. So I've already pre-done it, but I'll talk you through it. It's okay. So here we go. That's the marinated beef that I've been talking about. Um, now, to do that, I put uh, one teaspoon, uh, one tablespoon, sorry, of the uh, rice wine. I put. One, uh, two, um, two tablespoons of soy sauce. I put three tablespoons of dark soy sauce. I put um, one teaspoon of sesame oil. Two teaspoonfuls of sugar and two tablespoons of um, cornstarch and a, about a tablespoon or so or one and a half tablespoonfuls of uh, oil so try not to let the, um, the meat stick when it hits the wok so all as you do then is, is mix it up uh, I cut the um, beef into slices and flattened it out with a cleaver as best I could and this has been marinating now overnight so right about that thickness you know or a bit thinner or a bit thicker the way you like it you know I uh, this has absorbed a lot of moisture it's a lot thinner than that but it seems to have absorbed a lot of the moisture since I, left, since I did it so that that's the, uh, the initial beef, 
and um, that that one here is probably the, the the right size if you can get it that way it's, um, and it's going to be cooked very very quickly but today today we're uh, we're not having rice with it we're having uh, I'm going to do it with a baked potato I know it, we, we, we have a lot of fried rice and we have a lot of boiled rice and we just think we want to change. I was just going to do savoury mince and a, and a baked potato for tea but my son suggested I do a stir fry. So we're going to do um, a wok stir fry beef with broccoli and uh, I'll show you the veggies and that shortly um, when I decide uh, to cut them up and we'll talk you through that. Uh, this is not um, by any means um, an authentic recipe, this is my recipe, the, the way we like it and I uh, hope you like it too. Hey, give, give me your thoughts and uh, comments on it, uh, on uh, my um, YouTube uh, account, so it's uh, Redneck Hillbilly. 544 YouTube so uh, love to see you there and uh, don't forget um, leave me a like and uh, if you like what you've seen uh, leave me a, uh, a subscription and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, you'll be able to see uh, other bit okay um, now I'm gonna start uh, to show you um, what uh, veggies I'm, I'm going to be putting in and um, probably uh, I'll show you later on how I cut them up. Um, I'm going to just cut them off into chunks and uh, the, the broccoli and the flowerets and then um, we'll take it from there where, how I'm going to cook it. So uh, when I actually get round to doing the cooking. So here we go. Um, this is uh, this is the ingredients I'm going to be using uh, with the broccoli. Right, first of all, I'll be using some uh, broccoli uh, flowerets, um, just enough for three people. I don't know. Uh, I won't be using all that, I think there'll be a bit too much there. I'm going to use the whole, a whole onion, uh, chop that up into chunks, a green capsicum and a red, half a red capsicum. I don't know whether I'll use the whole of the green one yet, I'll see, it's only a small one so we'll, we'll, when I start chopping it up I'll, I'll check that out. And some spring onions and uh, that's just about it, um, it's an easy dish. There's not too many ingredients, which is, is lucky. Um, when I start cooking, I'll, I'll start showing you what sort, how to make the sauce, and um, we'll see how it goes then. So, unlock this front screen. There we go, and we'll see how it goes there. Um, there's a few ingredients. Virtually the the same uh, ingredients that I marinated the, the beef in with the addition of some oyster sauce and I'll put about three tablespoonfuls of oyster sauce in there but we'll get to that when I start cooking and I'll, I'll show you as I add it but first of all what I have to do is blanch the um, broccoli after I've cut it up so I'll, I'll be doing that uh, next so you only do it for a few minutes and I'll have some ice water there just to stop it cooking and to keep it green. So um, I'll get on with that now then and um, we'll see what see what see how we go. Okay. Right, now we're ready to um, chop the uh, veggies up. I've already uh, done the broccoli. It's um, all the onion flowerets all ready to be blanched. I've also done the stalks of the broccoli. 
These, to me, are better than the broccoli itself. Um, and they're, they're cooked through, but not sloppy. Uh, with a little bit of bite in them, they're absolutely better than broccoli, as far as I'm concerned. The wider the spring onions will be stir-fried, and the green of the onions will be a garnish. So, um, I'm in the middle now of chopping the onion. So here we go with that. With the this is choppers really big and heavy. It's for, for doing big meats and things. So here we go. I've half done the onion. So. That's the onion done, all chopped up, ready to go. Now, I'm, I'm in the middle of doing the red pepper and the green pepper. I've done half of them. So here we go, we'll chop that in half, just make chunks out of it. That's it, done. These are just chopped into two, and into two again. There we go. That is all the veggies and broccoli done. So that's, I'll just take the zoom off. There we go. That's all the veggies all ready to go. And uh, the next step, I'll make the sauce but I've, I'll just get rid of these things, put them in the fridge till I need them, and then we'll come back and show you how to make the sauce. Well, I'll show you how I make the sauce. Whether it's traditional or not, I really don't know. Um, it's the way we like it. So, uh, stay tuned. Okay, here we go. First of all, for the sauce, I'm gonna put one tablespoonful of cooking wine, Chinese cooking wine. They tell me you can use rice wine if you want, but I use, I try and get the uh, Chinese cooking wine if I can. So that's that one done. Now, I want two table, tablespoonfuls of light soy sauce. Some only put one in, but I, I like to put two in because I don't put a lot of salt in because that's usually my seasoning. Now, on top of that, I'm going to put two tablespoons of thick soy sauce or dark soy sauce. That's dark soy sauce. Now, piste de resistance is three tablespoonfuls of oyster sauce because we like a lot of that. Quite often they only put two in. I'm afraid uh, our taste buds like the oyster sauce. Come out, come out wherever you are. There's one. Even four wouldn't go amiss for us. But we'll make it three good ones. Two. Three. There we go, that's that one done. Now, got to be very, very careful with this one. This is sesame oil. So, I only put one teaspoon of that in. I do like the flavour of it, but it can take over. Right, that's that done. Two teaspoons, that, actually that was one, te one teaspoon of um, sesame oil two teaspoonfuls of sugar. And about half a cup of, um, I put half a cup, a cup of beef stock. Some say chicken stock, but I like it with beef stock. I use already bought big stock. So 
so we'll use half a cup and I usually take this out with me because it's quite often it, if it gets too thick you can always thin it down with it so that that's the beef stock and, and that's the sauce already done now a lot of the Chinese chefs I've noticed they put the corn flour in well I don't I keep that separate I keep that and I just add two or three tablespoonfuls of water when I'm ready for it and then I can adjust how much I need. If you put it in now in the sauce, as far as I'm concerned, it, unless you've done it before and you know exactly how much you need, uh, you, can, you can overdo it and I don't want to do that. I do salt and pepper, uh, teaspoon, well half a teaspoon of pepper and about three quarters of a teaspoon, teaspoon of salt. And I do two teaspoonfuls of garlic and ginger, two, two teaspoonfuls of ginger. But well, that's fresh ginger, but that's jar, garlic out of a jar. Uh, I've got the oil ready for actually doing the frying. And that's it. That's about it. It's, uh, that's about it now. And uh, the next stage is get everything ready to cook on. So I'll have to get the wok ready and um, the wok burner. I'm gonna do it outside, but I'm gonna have to put a little bit of a marquee up because it might rain. And if not, if it's sunny, it gets too hot. So that's gonna, uh, and it's a bit early. It's only uh, 20 past one in the afternoon and I'll start cooking about 5, 5.30 or something like that. So everything's ready to go, uh, all prepared beforehand. So bear with me and uh, we'll catch you later. Put the spuds on. What we're having tonight is the uh, stir fry beef and broccoli in oyster sauce. But we're not having it with fried rice or boiled rice. We have pearl rice and fried rice quite a lot. So, what we decided to do is something different. We've never done it before, we've never seen it done before. So, it's always the first time for everything. Okay, so off we go outside. I've got everything outside ready. Uh, the old barbecue's gone. This is the setup outside. I'm going to be using this uh, wok with a wok burner, and it's a pretty powerful piece of equipment. That look at that. Wait till that starts firing up, we'll see some flames going. We've got the old um, tripod there for the camera. This is where I have my utensils while I'm cooking. And this side will be where the food's going to be that I can just grab it and put it in the wok. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing it and seeing how it turns out for the first time. We'll uh, make sure uh, I put uh, the results on what we think of it. Because we've never had it with uh, baked potatoes before, but like I say, it's always the first time for everything. But uh, I do like fried rice, and I do, do a reasonably good job of making it, as you've probably seen in some of my other videos. But this time, something different. Catch you later. Okay, here we go. We're uh, just gonna blanch the broccoli to give it a bit of a go before I uh, stir fry it. It's not a lot of broccoli, it's only that much. But we've got some other stuff to go with it as well. So some capsicums or oh, green red peppers as a lot of people call it. Yeah, she's warming up now.
Turn her up. Get her hot. Put the broccoli in now. Give it a, a bit of a stir. Don't need to overcook this. I hate soggy broccoli. <laughs> Just a minute or two, that's all. Two at the most. See how green it's looking now. That's pretty damn good. That's nice boiling all right now. Get rid of this water. Good for the garden. Right, here we go. Smoking where it should be. Ouch, that's flat. Trouble with wearing shorts in the summer. Got the flames going. That's 
about it. Now, turn that down a bit. There's a bit gone. Salt and pepper. Garlic and ginger. Right, now the sauce. And the broccoli. And a bit more beef stock. Give us a bit of gravy. Now a bit of cornstarch, won't put it all in yet, we'll see how we go. Now the beef. A little bit more. We like a bit of gravy with it. Look at that, doesn't it look pretty damn good? And so quick. Right. Bit of green onion for the garnish. And this is just about done folks, it's about dishing out now, so I'll get back to you.
when it's time to dish out. Well folks, there it is, the finished product, looks pretty damn good to me and uh, I hope it tastes as good as it looks. There's a baked potato, well done, it's crispy skin and the uh, stir fry, beef and broccoli. It wasn't much broccoli, it seemed to uh, disappear. <laughs> but there's plenty of other stuff and it's mainly for the beef anyway. And it's got the oyster sauce, which is what we like as well. Okay, catch you in the next one. Don't forget, uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe if you feel you like uh, my videos. And please feel free to comment I, uh, I won't take offence at any criticism. Uh, if you can help me improve this dish, that'd be fantastic. Okay, catch you in the next one.